Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let me point out, too, uh, my sites have multiple URLs. Uh, I'm not changing the site. I'm not taking down sites. I'm just adding URLs. So DwyerVIP.com takes you to bettingangle.us. They're all free, right? Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Today is July the 9th, 2019. Let's sound odd here. Let's get off the beaten track. Let's leave public opinion. Right? It's my opinion that Regis Progre has a secret. That secret, for those who don't know, is that he is one of the hardest punchers pound for pound in the sport of boxing. Right? I want people to think Golovkin. Right? This guy hits so hard. He doesn't even have to be in proper position to take you out, right? Few people understand how hard this guy hits. He's taking on Josh Taylor, a guy with an 80% KO ratio, right? Taylor, 80% KO ratio. I'm just saying here on this video, that I believe Regis Progre hits a hell of a lot harder than Josh Taylor. But in my opinion, the most shocking secret to Regis Progre, and I know here's where I am going to lose credibility with many of you, but the most shocking secret is that Progre is faster than Josh Taylor. Understand, Progre is the guy who was the fastball pitcher who has taken time to change his style, to figure out how to speed up his game, and to master spacing in a fight. I thought Carol Rillick was going to give Progre a lot of problems in his last fight. Let's just say Progre came out and was simply too fast, simply hit too hard, and was simply too talented. What Progre has done is streamlined his game where at times he doesn't put a hand up, right? Folks, that's not negligence by him. That's by design. He'll drop his hands. He'll go Philly shell because he wants you to open up. And he has figured out as a southpaw that when he's a certain distance from you, you can't hit him. So what he has done is he started creating illusions in the ring. I know this sounds ridiculous. I'm just telling you, this is the talented fighter who at 30 years old has spent years looking at his own films. You can tell. He's figured out how to get you to commit so he can then jump in and throw some of the hardest punches pound for pound in the sport. I like Progre over Josh Taylor. Understand the risk involved. Both of these guys are unbeaten. Understand, too, both of these guys are southpaws. In other words, some of the element of surprise for both guys is going to be out the ring. I'll agree, too, that Taylor has fought some excellent fighters. Miguel Vasquez, for example. Victor Postal, for example. Right? And I'll agree, Taylor, phenomenal KO percentage. Has won some fights by stoppage, Ryan, Ryan Martin, for example. Right? He's formidable. But I don't believe he's ready for this. 
right? When a guy has a power advantage on you, when a guy is unorthodox and has a speed advantage on you, understand, Progre is more sudden than Taylor. Progre throws short punches, no wind-up needed. His shots get there in a hurry. He's not throwing combinations. He's not framing a combination. So you're there admiring his hand speed, right? Rather, this is a guy who has his balance thought out and is cat quick with the counters. He has the spacing pointed out. I don't believe Taylor's jab is going to bother him. I believe this is the guy who goes into a fight already prepared. Right? He knows how to move his upper body. I think Progre, quite frankly, is much better than advertised. I'll be surprised here if Progre doesn't get a stoppage. The bet I'm recommending is simply Progre to win the fight. I'm going to hedge the play with the over. Right? This way, if the fight does go the distance, I'll win whatever happens. If the fight makes it to the later rounds, I'll win whatever happens. But understand, I don't expect the fight to make it to the later rounds. I believe Progre is an original. I think when you look at him and you see him with his hands down, there's a sizable portion of the boxing public that thinks this is a slugger just looking to load up on shots, right? The opposite is true. This is a guy who has decided to streamline his game. He only has his hands down when there's a distance between the fighters, and he realizes that you can't catch him. Let me point out, too, that some fastball pitchers stop developing. Right? Progre had to realize at a young age that with his punching power, he was doing things other guys simply couldn't do. This is the fastball pitcher who has spent time learning a curve, a slider, and a changeup. Right? Carol Relic in his last fight, that's a masterpiece fight, folks. Relic was major competition. He was completely overwhelmed. Looked like he had never been hit like that before in his life. Completely overwhelmed. Right? I'm telling you, Pro Gray, who's 5'8", these are two tall fighters for 140, can get low, has excellent balance, never seems to be in a rush, but you notice he's landing flush counters, right? This is a fighter like Andy Ruiz. He is a poker player, right? He's going to come in the ring. He's going to be talking. He's going to be putting on a show, whatever, before the fight. Just understand, once the bell sounds, this guy is cerebral, he's scientific, he knows what he's doing. I like Progre over Josh Taylor, and understand, I think the world of Taylor. I just don't like the matchup. I think that Taylor's going to find that Progre is harder to hit than he looks on film. I think Taylor's going to realize that if they start trading punches, Taylor with an 80% knockout ratio is going to be at a disadvantage and does not hit as hard as Pro Gray. Right? Pro Gray is going to be looking random, but you're going to notice that he's only deep in the pocket during certain times. It takes a while of watching Progre to realize that that's all intentional. This fighter is thought out. Circle his name. I think this guy with this punching power 
as successful as he's been, unbeaten fighter, has much bigger things ahead of him. I like Regis Progre in this fight over Josh Taylor. The way I'm playing it is to take Progre to win, hedged with the over. But my private expectation is Progre by stoppage. That's how I see the fight. Let me hear from you. I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.